An Arizona Living Trust is a document that allows an individual, a grantor, to place their assets in a trust managed by a trustee for the grantor's lifetime. After death, the trust assets will be distributed to the beneficiaries by the named successor trustee in the document. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a living trust in Arizona, the key roles of a living trust, requirements, and more. Where eForms your go-to destination for legal templates and how-tos. If you're ready to get started creating your own Arizona Living Trust, click the link in the description below. Otherwise, let's jump in. We'll start by defining a few key roles. First, there's the grantor. This is the individual creating and funding the trust. Next, the trustee. This individual manages the trust assets during the grantor's lifetime. The grantor can serve as the trustee if they are not the sole beneficiary. Third, the successor trustee. This person manages the trust assets if the trustee dies or becomes incapacitated. Commonly, the successor trustee's role is to distribute and transfer the trust assets to the beneficiaries. Finally, the beneficiaries. This is any person or organization who stands to inherit from the trust. Here's an example of it in action. John, an Arizona resident, decided to create a living trust to manage his assets and provide for his children's future. He named himself as trustee, transferred his assets into the trust, and designated successors to manage and distribute them according to his wishes, ensuring a smooth transition for their family in the event of his passing. Let's cover legal requirements. Mental capacity. The person creating the trust, the grantor, must be of sound mind. Named beneficiaries. The trust must name who will receive assets after the grantor passes away. This can include people, charities, pets, or specific purposes. Trustee's duties. The trustee, the person managing the trust, must have defined duties. Cannot be the same person. The trustee cannot be the sole beneficiary of the trust. Is registration required in Arizona? No, there are no registration requirements in Arizona. Can it be revoked? Unless a trust document specifically states that it's irrevocable, a trust can be revoked or amended. Before we go, let's cover the steps to creating a living trust in Arizona. Identify property. The grantor should take an inventory of the properties to be entered into the trust. This can include real estate, personal property, retirement accounts, business interests, and any other valuables the grantor owns. Property and assets that are not specifically entered into a living trust will not become a part of it. Two, choose trustees. A trust will commonly have two types of trustees. Initial trustee manages the trust during the grantor's lifetime. For revocable trust, this is commonly the grantor. Successor trustee manages the trust if the grantor becomes incapacitated or dies. They will be responsible for distributing the property and assets of the trust to the beneficiaries. Three, select beneficiaries. The beneficiaries are the individuals who will inherit the trust property after the grantor's death. They're usually the spouse or family members of the grantor. Who can be a beneficiary? A beneficiary can be any person born or unborn or organization legally permitted to hold an interest in property. If a grantor wants to give a portion of the trust property to a pet, a pet trust can be created within the trust document. Four, signing. To prove a living trust was created, signing with two witnesses and a notary public is recommended. Estate planning can be a complex process, but we're here to help. If you're ready to start creating your own Arizona living trust, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more.